Today I'm going to uh, talk about and show you how to fix a common problem with uh, the Zenmuse H3 3D gimbal for the DJI Phantom uh, 2 and uh, GoPro cameras. And the problem occurs uh, quite often when uh, you plug and unplug uh, through the via the USB cable and you rip the ribbon cable um, that attaches the, the two. It's really easy to break when plugging and unplugging that and trying to gain access to the SD card or to charge your GoPro through the USB cable port. You'll need the Allen wrench um, and the screwdriver and uh, pliers is helpful to complete this repair. I purchased my Phantom through DSLR Pros and it came with the ribbon ca cable probably because they break very often so it's good to uh, have a spare um, when this breaks. You can also purchase the spare parts, and this is called spare part number 56. I bought several at about $4 um, because I'm sure this is going to break again. It's uh, paper thin and uh, easy to break and easy to repair. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure that you have no power source to the Phantom so you don't um, any, cause any sort of circuits while you're working on your machine. The next step will be to remove the GoPro um, from the gimbal. Um, you could also remove the entire gimbal, but I chose to remove just the GoPro for the repair. After you've got the GoPro removed, the next thing you'll need to do is remove the sticker and the um, rest of the cable uh, from the gimbal. Moving on to the end that attaches to the camera, um, you'll need to pull the remains of the ribbon cable connector out. It's hard to grab, so use the pliers. When the time comes to uh, replace or plug the cables back in, it's just really simple. You just uh, line up either end and plug them back together. It's as simple as that, whether it's this part that attaches the camera or the uh, part of the ribbon cable that attaches to the gimbal. I'm not going to show every step in great detail because my big fingers get in the way, but the next step here is to take this panel off on the gimbal to get access to where the plug on the gimbal is. After we've gotten that panel off, plugged in the ribbon cable and threaded it through the back hole, the next step will be to remove this little piece of paper, um, which is a sticker, and we'll stick it to the gimbal and then replace and then put the big sticker over everything. Now with the big sticker on the back that will help prevent moisture and uh, dust and other things from getting into the circuitry, we need to add the plug back in and that's just a simple push on. Okay, we've got everything put back together, the GoPro is on, the plug is in, and um, basically we're all set to go. We just need to see if it works. Um, and so we'll just power up the Phantom. for watching this tutorial. Um, I hope this helps and I hope you don't have the problem that I've had but uh, chances are you will um, at some point if you have this setup. So thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.